Hey, and welcome back to another video. So this is just going to be a somewhat quick video of something that I would like to discuss uh, with regarding the iPad Air 2. So with the recent announcement at WWDC 2021, the iPad Air 2 surprisingly uh, was going to was announced to be getting iPad OS 15. Now, nobody thought that the iPad Air 2 will get iPad OS 15. Even I, in my uh, previous iOS 4, iPad OS 14 review video, uh, where I reviewed the uh, iPad Air 2 on uh, iPad OS 14, even I said that uh, it's probably going to be the last OS that the iPad Air 2 will support. However, I was completely wrong, and everyone was wrong, honestly, because no one ever thought that uh, the iPad uh, Air 2 from 2014, by the way, from seven years ago, is getting iPad OS 15. And this came, off, came as a huge surprise to the entire tech community. This iPad just does not die. And I just wanna go over a few things uh, in this video and discuss the uh, future of the iPad Air 2. But before we jump right in, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And check out all my social media down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord, and Twitter as well. And now let's jump right into this video. So the Air 2 was released in 2014 and shipped with iOS 8.1, as you can see here. Uh, this is GSM Arena, usually where I get my information from. Uh, you can see it was released with iOS 8.1. And when it's upgraded to iPad OS 15 means uh, iOS 9, iOS 10, iOS 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Seven major updates. And if you include the OS that it shipped with, iOS 8, we're talking seven major updates and eight OSs in total. Name one other device that has even come close. The only other device that came close is the iPad 2, uh, the second iPad. And the next is the iPhone 6S and the iPhone SE Gen 1 because they're also getting iOS 15, which also came as a huge surprise uh, to the tech community. And I'm really happy with what Apple is doing here. They're supporting an older device for longer because they know that the device can support. This is one thing that I disagree with. These bunch of people that say that Apple is uh, making their, is, it's, they're conducting planned obsolescence. If there's any company that's conducting planned obsolescence, it's basically Samsung. Um, I know a lot of people like Samsung devices. I like them too. I have a lot of Samsung devices, by the way. But there is no doubt that uh, they do not give updates for a reason. Because um, if you look up the, I the iPhone 6S and the Samsung Galaxy S6, the Galaxy S6 got up to Android 8. That was the last update it got. Uh, it got two major updates. But the iPhone 6S got, what, seven updates with iOS 15. So you can't really argue there. Sure, you're not getting all the uh, the features, but obviously you cannot get all the features because the phone is old, but still you're getting the update, you're getting security updates, you're getting something that if you were on the Galaxy S6, you wouldn't get because you just got two updates. So I know there's a raging argument with between Samsung and Apple, but in the, when it comes to the update department, you just cannot argue that Apple is way superior and that was a uh, forum on basically r slash android on um reddit they were discussing this uh, whole update issue they're like we need to talk about the update situation on android now i'm not saying that all android devices don't get that much of updates because the pixel program and the android uh, one program well, the pixel lineup of devices and the android one program they do get a lot of updates up to around four updates so that's great but manufacturers like samsung and huawei and um lg well lg is no longer in the picture but in general uh non-android one and uh well pixel is only google but non-android one manufacturers should really start upping their game here because apple is churning out updates for their older devices like it's just uh it's like it's nothing so that begs the question, how is Apple so capable of doing that? Number one, the iPad Air 2, if you look at its spec sheet here, is still a really, really capable device. Just uh, for some uh, history, the iPad Air 2 is the only known Apple uh, portable device, only Apple known mobile device 
that has a trico processor it's a triple coprocessor it's the apple a8x the apple a8 was a dual coprocessor however the a8x is a triple coprocessor it's not quad co but it's more than capable of handling ipad os 15. now i'm really sure ipad os 15 will be the last uh that the ipad air 2 supports but if it's not i'm gonna probably uh do a I'll, I'll attempt a handstand on my head on camera if that's even possible uh but i will try something really dumb on camera something that i can't do if they give this thing ipad os 16. and i'm afraid that i might have to do that considering uh the, the ways they've been surprising us in recent times <clears throat> I've criticized Apple in the past because of their uh, their against right to repair and they're against a lot of things. And I've criticized Apple in the past, but I have to praise them for this. There is no doubt that they're extending the life of such an old device because they know they can. And they're, instead of just forcing their customers to buy the latest ones, they're doing it. Uh, they're, they're, they're just updating the older devices. <clears throat> so when this thing is updated to iOS to iPad OS 15, it's gonna have the on-screen widgets because now when you're on this screen, uh, when you turn it into uh, like portrait mode there, you lose the uh, the um, the widgets, but on iPad OS 15, you're gonna have the ability to drag the widgets around wherever you want, just like on iOS 15 and iOS 14. Uh, you're gonna get uh, a calculator for some some reason for a long time iPads never had calculators you're gonna get a battery saver mode you're gonna get a lot of modes that iPhones had uh, now on iPad OS 15 <clears throat> and um, it's coming with a bunch of other features as well sure the iPad Air 2 is not gonna have all the features however you're gonna be up to date you're gonna be you're gonna have security updates well you're gonna have security updates for a long time they're still gonna roll out security updates probably till like 2023, 24. Uh, and I say that because if you remember the iOS, uh, the, the iPhone 4S, oh, I had one over here, there it is. Um, the iPhone 4S <clears throat> released in 2011 and it got its final update. Uh, I can't remember exactly. I'll put it up on screen what its final update was. However, in 2019, as you can see here, 2019, by the way, many years after it was released, many, many years after it was released, Apple gave the iPhone 4S a surprise security update. As you can see here, this is from Apple's website. Don't believe me, go look it up yourself. <clears throat> this was a security update from 2019 for the iPhone 4S. That surprised everyone. Why is Apple still supporting this thing? They know that people use this because there are some people that used the iPhone 4S because I made a video up here, like you can go check it out, it's up here, on using the iPhone 4S in 2020. And um, a lot of people said they still use that phone for some uh, reason or another. I was really surprised. And I, I think Apple saw this and they gave it a security update to support those users. So that's really, really good. And I'm pretty sure the iPad Air 2 is gonna be the same. It's gonna get security updates for years after uh, <clears throat> its final launch because people will still hang on to this thing. Because as you can see, this thing is fast. This thing has uh, completely no problem with uh, moving around and all those stuff, it works perfectly fine. There's no lag at all. It's well, a slight stutter here and there in the browser, obviously with this, with obviously such an old tablet, uh, but still it is to a, to a quite extent, it's really, really smooth as you can see there. Um, I've done a full review of this thing. You can check it up. I showed you earlier uh, the video, uh, the iPad uh, Air 2 running on iOS 14. Uh, iPad OS 14, I keep calling it iOS 14, but <clears throat> you can go and check out that video. It's on my channel and it was on the card above earlier. You can go check that video out. I do a full performance review and all that stuff on the Air 2. Um, but uh, I'll also be doing it uh, when it comes for, uh, when it's updated to iPad OS 15. So stay tuned for that review uh, by hitting the subscribe button. But then again, what I'm saying is this is not a slow device so it's going to be usable for a very long time now the battery situation on this thing obviously um a lot of old air tubes are going to have battery problems mine doesn't because i don't use it that much and i'm very careful with the battery i don't let it drop to like 20 percent uh below 20 percent and i always charge it from 20 to 80 or 20 to 100 percent uh so i take care of its battery but a lot of people do have battery issues with these things 
but if you really want the battery replaced, it's like $50 or $60 for a battery on eBay and you can get someone to replace it for $20. So for about $70, you can get the battery replaced on this thing. So um, it's still a very viable iPad for 2021 and 2022 uh, after the iPad OS 15 update. <clears throat> and if you still wanna stick to it as long as you can, I'm assuming about 2023-ish is a good estimate. Depends on how much you want to use it and how uh, how your iPad is doing, if its battery is weak, if it's old, if it's damaged. But if you have a perfect condition one, I'd say 2023 easily. So it's an amazing thing that Apple is still updating this thing after so many years. A big thumbs up to Apple. Um, and I wanna see how the what the future for this will hold um, <clears throat> beyond 2022, beyond 2023. And we'll see how long we can use this. And I'm gonna be definitely covering this iPad over the coming years uh, to see how far it goes. So stay tuned for that if you wanna see that. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and also don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video as we are coming to the end of this video. Uh, and stay tuned for the upcoming video uh, that I review the iPad Air 2 on iPad OS 15 whenever iPad OS 15 is released later in 2021. So yeah, uh, thumbs up, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.